Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a winged eyeliner makeup for beginners type thing and I stopped doing makeup for beginners so I'm kind of going to pick back up on those types of tutorials and wing liner is really easy depending on what type of eyeliner you use. My favorite type of eyeliners to use are the pin like ones so this one is one of my favorites this is the Tarte Precision Long Wear Liner because it's like a pin so you can hold it like a pin it's got a little grip right here um, for your knuckle to go and you can just draw it. It's like really sharp and pointy. So you can get a really, 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 really precise line. Uh, L'Oreal, um, this is the Carbon Black Linear Intense. The brush is not as skinny, but it's still pretty skinny. But I like this one because you can draw it and sculpt however you want. And because it's really dark and it doesn't smudge on me at all. I love MAC black track fluid line but the only thing is you have to use this with a brush and I don't mind using it with a brush when I really want to get a really angular shape. A brush like this it has a really uh, sharp angular look to it and you're able to glide across easily. This one gives a really shiny look this one gives a really matte finish look so it just depends and this one gives kind of a shiny look too so it depends on how you want your eyeliner to look I personally like my eyeliners to be super black and no shine. First, I'm going to use this one to show you guys how to use a pen like this. And then I'm going to show you how to use the black track fluid line. So what I like to do is I like to have my mirror here and I like to look down. This prevents the products from getting all over my lid um, and it gives me more control. So I'm using the Carbon Black Linear Intense Liquid Liner. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and draw. You want to move slowly. Do this as gently as possible. Um, that way you don't mess up. I like to draw a line going diagonal. So basically, if you were to line up a brush, like right underneath your eye, and go diagonally um, in line with that line, that's how your wing is going to be. How long you want your wing to be is determined by what your eye shape is. So if you have almond shaped eyes like me, I have really oval almond shaped eyes, drawing the wing too long will make it look Egyptian, like a Siamese cat or something. It can elongate your eye in a weird way that's not really flattering because then it's gonna touch your eyebrow and not cute. I'm not pressing hard, I'm being very, very gentle, making sure that I move as slowly as I need to. Then I'm going to Take that line, I'm gonna start from like the middle of my wing here. I'm gonna draw backwards. And what that does is it kind of creates like a triangular tail. Like I said, take your time, don't rush, because if you do, you will mess up. This eyeliner is getting kind of dried out, that means I need to buy a new one. You want to make sure that the line is pretty straight. When you close your eye, you want the line to be straight, not curved. But if you mess up, it's okay. You can fix it. Get a concealer brush. Mine already has a little bit of concealer on it. I'm just going to clean it up. You can also clean it up underneath too. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the Black Track Fluid Line. I'm going to dab it in there, not too much product because I don't want it to be too heavy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start in the middle using very light strokes, work my way to the outer part of my eye. And what I like about the Black Track Fluid Line is it goes on really smooth so you don't really get a lot of like gaps and stuff. Now I'm going to draw my wing. So like I said, we're going to start in the outer corner and drag down like that. This line's a lot thicker than this one is. 
So that's the difference between the two eyeliner looks that you can get. I'm gonna go back and make this one thicker to match this one and I'll be back. Now you can put on mascara or do whatever you wanted to do. If you find that your eyeliner doesn't stay on good, you might wanna use a black eyeshadow and just press it on top so that it makes it look a little more um, dark and it keeps it from sliding everywhere and stuff like that. Putting your concealer underneath also prevents it from smudging down um, so that you know it doesn't get all over the place so i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on and decided not to wear lashes because I just don't feel like it. I'm not really going anywhere anyway so there's no point. I mean you know. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that this was easy for you. If you have any questions please let me know. All of the information you need about the products that I use will be listed in the description box as well as some of my other favorite um, eyeliner products that I like. Um, I'll put those in the description box as well. Thumbs up if you like the video and if you want to see more makeup for beginner tutorials please let me know. I will talk to you guys in my next video.